This is Mrs. Murphy, your instructor here at Weber State University, and today we're going to take you through how to put images and links on your web page. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the available image formats that you have. Uh, you have a JPEG that can go on a web page that has a great co greater color depth than some of the others. So if you look at the picture of the chimpanzee, it's a lot different than the picture of the little monkey jumping up and down. The little monkey jumping up and down is a GIF, and yes, GIFs support animation. Uh, they do have a limited color palette though, um, but they do support transparency. Now a PNG file, or ping, I'm not sure how people pronounce that, but uh, it has a great color depth like a JPEG, and it does support transparency, so a lot of times PNGs are used for logos and things like that on, the, on a web page. Okay, you'll want to make sure when you're doing images that you don't ever resize them to be larger than the original image. You can go smaller, just not larger. The reason why is it kind of pixelates, as you can see on the huge sunny day pictures on the right hand side. Okay, image file names are the same as, as web page file names. You don't want any spaces or weird punctuation. Try and stick to letters and, no and numbers. An underscore is okay though. Uh, now here's an important thing though. You want to make sure that the image that you're finding on the internet or creating yourself is in the same directory as your web page. Um, otherwise it won't link correctly. It'll show up as a weird dead image. Okay, the tag to put an image in is this IMG tag. The IMG stands for image. We like to abbreviate here in computer world. Uh, SRC stands for source. This is the source of the file. In this case, we're putting a file called monkey.jpg. You do have to put .jpg or .png or .gif uh, depending on what file type it is. If you leave that out, even if it's not showing in your explorer, then it will not show up. So file name, uh, the file extension is necessary. Now this alt is for screen readers for the blind. It tells the screen reader what that is a picture of so that the screen reader can read that to someone who is visually impaired. Okay, we have a couple of types of links. We have an external link. An external link is just when you have a link to another page on the internet. So you have a link to Google on your web page. Google's not part of your page, you're just linking to it. Now a local link is a link within the same directory as your site, or, or on your same site, you know, just another page within it. Uh, an internal link we're not going to do today, but that's just when you have a link that goes within the same page, like a link to the top of the page. Okay, a local link, here's kind of the format for a local link. The, the, ta the A stands for anchor, uh, that starts your link. A href is your hyper reference, and that's where the page is linking to. So in this case, it's linking to security.html. You have to make the sure that security.html is in the same, pa same folder as the page you're currently typing. And then here it has some text that's going to show up on the page. It's not inside the tag. The tag is now closed and it says computer security. This is just what shows up on the page so that the user has something to click on. Now if you forget to put that in, the user won't be able to click on anything and your link won't work. And then at the very end, don't forget, you need to have a closing A tag. Otherwise, all the text after this particular A tag will be highlighted as your link. You don't want that to happen. So you want to make sure you close off your A tag. Okay, the format for an external link is very, very similar. You still have the A and the href that says where the link is going to. Now on an external link, you do have to have HTTP. If you do not have that, then it will not work. It's best to just copy and paste the URL than actually type it in. That way you get it exact. Okay, the target means that this link is going to open in a new window or a new tab that's kind of the user's preference. Um, now anytime you have an external link, you do want to put that in there because we want to keep people on our web page. We don't want to send them away from our web page by saying, here, go to Google instead. Now, so this way that, that link stays open. Okay, that's it for links and images. We will see you in the next video.